could. But yeah, there's the sort of thing to me, they are driven, especially the Musée des Beaux-Arts, which is a, started out as a private institution and now is semi-private, semi-public. But to me, it's 100% driven by whoever is behind the wheel of the um, uh, which board of directors. And it's the sort of thing where you look back in their history and uh, the reason that they have uh, what's called, uh, a really absolutely amazing kick-ass collection of Dutch master paintings is because that was what was in style in the uh, what's called, end of the 19th century in English Montreal. And so it's the sort of thing where now it's here, it's uh, every, the, what, what is in style is everybody saying, look at my big car, look at my, I got a bigger car than you have. Back in those days, the guys who lived in the gold, Golden Square Mile was, my Dutch master is bigger than your Dutch, uh, Dutch master. Mine is more significant than that, at which point it gets passed on. And so to me, it's seeing how that same sort of thing has gone through uh, yeah, from then to now, where the bougies are saying, we need music, um, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it is, yeah, those who do get into a position of power can shift it, and it's the sort of thing where also, I took a course, or I tried, I took a course on how to become a volunteer there, and one of the things that is uh, what, no, actually explicitly stated is that if you are a tour guide there, you cannot say bad things about the art. By definition, once the art is in the museum, it is good art. There is various levels of goodness, but you do realize when you come from the outside that, as you say, it's in a museum, therefore it must be good. Mm -hmm. When it's actual fact, if you look at some of the collections and stuff like that, you realize, ah, I'm not so certain, and so on, which is where some of the, uh, yeah, where. Um, the Musée d'Art Contemporain is talking about how they need to build a new space because 95% of their collection is uh, not viewable. And my guess, uh, it's the sort of thing where I wouldn't want to put an actual number on it because I'm not that familiar with their entire collection, but I would say that a significant percentage of it really does not need to be seen. And the same with. But hold on, that's so presumptuous. <laughs> no, yeah. no, it's yes, presumptuous it is. on both sides, I think, because this idea of um, assuming that all people are going to respond or see it as good art, I think, is complete is extraordinary. Um, this idea of good and bad art is extraordinary, and all art should be seen, and all art should have the chance um, to be debated. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, I, I agree, it should be seen and debated. But there is, you yourself, and I'm certain that there is lots of art that you have made that you really would not want to have anybody yes. see. <laughs> and it is the sort of thing where sure. I do, do know in the position I am as a co-curator of the show that we were able to say to you, we would like that, 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 and that. Yeah. And you weren't prepared for that, and it was the sort of thing of just saying these seem to fit into the, which one, the, the needs of the show and so on. And so which one to take them like yeah, it's the sort of thing where the pheasant, uh, the we it's a weasel, right? Mm -hmm. Pheasant, the weasel, and the aquarium don't exactly fit in the same sort of theme as the cats, and it does establish you more as a taxidermy artist. But it is the sort of thing that the pheasant and, and the weasel are talking much more about uh, the nature of food and how we eat and what they right. eat and so on, whereas the cats are talking about much more strongly on the nature of death. I don't and understand what's <laughs> Oh, in terms of, it's where, uh, we'll talk the nature of good and bad. In terms right. of you were willing to put some stuff in that. You no, but I'm talking about, I guess, it's at the Bozal, for a volunteer to be told yeah. you can't have an opinion. And and also that you can't, it's almost that if you can't say that this, that you, if you can't state your opinion on a piece of art and you're giving a tour and somebody, it, I don't know, I find that, I, it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's atrocious <laughs> and it's presumptuous. <laughs> I was very lucky at one stage to be a uh, part of a collection, uh, you know, where people give, mm -hmm. and then you say, yes, we want to keep this, or no, you want to keep, they don't want that. And uh, after the first time when I expressed my uh, opinion uh, fairly forcefully, uh, I was told that I was not here to choose, but merely to see what was coming in, and that you should listen to the executive. And I said, no. <laughs> I lasted about a year and a half. <laughs> um, then my time came up. And, mm -hmm. yeah. 
it was it was a very odd experience. But I bet you the, the finger food and the drinks that they served during the meetings were spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> also, the ability to go and look in the stacks if you wanted. To. Oh yeah. That's well, that, was, that it, that you can do. You can do as a regular citizen. You got to go past certain hurdles and leaps and bounds, but they do have their reference library. They do have their um, there's the reference library and then the there's archives the archives, right? which are open to the public. But you got to get sort of you got to get in line. Yeah, I know it's they're it's not, not it's not so bad, and not many people know about it. If there's a piece of work that you're re you're really interested by, or you want to know more on the background or maybe the inspiration, um, or even how they acquired it, you can go to the archives. And look at the dossier and mm -hmm. see, you know, if there are extra materials that the artist may have used or whatever came with this piece of art. It uh, makes you feel like Sherlock yeah. in a way. It's, it's really, it's very interesting. Now, and at the Musée d'Art Contemporain, they have their whole media tech upstairs, which is just a treasure trove yeah. of stuff. If you need to, are at all interested in just about any, uh, which one, post my any artist after 1940, they have linear feet on them mm -hmm. and it is just absolutely amazing and there may be what three people in there uh, each day Wednesdays they're open until about eight o'clock it is a phenomenal phenomenal place yeah. are there any other questions Thousands. <laughs> <laughs> yes how did the artist get the wool on the tree oh there it's uh, very simple in terms of you take um basically a sweat Okay, which is slightly curved and uh, varying uh, width. You then um, wrap it around the tree, and there it's then you sew the, the top. Uh, you sew the edge and you sew the top together. And because it's curved, they actually lean. Can we grab that? We have other examples as well. <coughs> Yeah, you know, on the side of this Okay. 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 Gets attached to this side. This is the one that then goes around the branch. This gets sewn to here, and this gets basically uh, what's called sewn to there. You get the idea? Yes. So she's up in the tree. Yeah. That's quite high up. It was so funny last week when she was installing them. You know, it was cold and wet. Oh, I mean, nice. The tree's warm. You said, you said you had a question. <laughs> Exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's uh, everything is, uh, is has its way of art that uh, is appreciated. Yes. By no, that's that was exactly my point of bringing up with Kate, where she had said that she accepted to have these in the show because of our needs, and so the needs. And I think the cats and these really do have some relationship. They do. Oh. Oh, I, I don't disagree with you. At, I don't disagree with you at all if on that. These not, but these two, yes. I, I'm not disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing. It's a personal opinion. Yeah. I'm, I'm not disagreeing at all. I'm using that as sort of the basis to then show that the curators at museums have different needs, different reasons for getting stuff into the collection, and it's the sort of thing with the Musée des Beaux Arts. Just um, to yes, since I'm slamming on them, let's. Okay, let's keep kicking them while they're down. But it is the sort of thing where um, they realize they're very, very strong in Dutch masters because that was popular among the people who started the museum. 
but they want to be a world-class museum, and so at which point they suddenly realize that they have a hole. Yeah, but they, they put them really in different floors. Uh, mm -hmm. But if they have a hole, they suddenly identify that they have a hole in abstract expressionist paintings, yeah. and at which point, therefore, since all the good, great, and amazing abstract expressionist paintings have already been spoken for, they say we need one. Just by definition, whatever abstract expressionist painting they're going to get is not going to be of the highest caliber of what you can see at uh, MoMA, of what you can see down in the, uh, what about, at the Smithsonian or anything like that that does have a good to great collection of those. And that's where I'm talking about is that because it is, it is the sort of thing where because the people who are deciding what needs to be put in the museum, their ideas for stuff are different than the artist's ideas of stuff. You can realize that there is going to be a what you call quality. The, there will be questions of quality in certain cases, and so it's not necessarily that everything in the museum is of the same caliber. And that's all I was talking about saying that with the museum, if they have this large a collection, there's going to be by definition a certain percentage that just is not going to be that high. And I tend to look at things black and white. It's not that it's good, great, greatest, it's good or it's bad. That, but that's just me because I tend to view things very binary, black and white. <laughs> so what do you think about computer art? Uh, it depends on the computer, it depends on the artist. It's the sort of thing, to me, that's like asking me what I think about painting. There are good paintings, there are great paintings. David pa Hockney. David Hockney? Um, I haven't seen any of his stuff. I've heard that I like, but he is using it as, a me as media I've and stuff like that. paints with his iPad. And to me, it's what well, sketches, same sort of thing. It's the sort of thing where Mitch's is computer art. And the two were completely separate. And it is the sort of thing where I've also seen people, there's this website called DeviantArt, where um, you all are familiar with computers that the uh, Microsoft uh, program Paint, mm -hmm. which is pixel by pixel. There is, I've seen numerous examples on DeviantArt where somebody has gone, pixel by pixel to do a reproduction of some impressionist painting and they are apps they're spectacularly large and so yeah I like the fact that he is pushing edges and saying this is an acceptable mm -hmm. media medium and it's an acceptable media to use as well mm -hmm. not having seen it and stuff like that I really can't judge him per se his work but to me computer art it's as valid as anything else it's before they had the printing press you still had drawing and then suddenly they came up with printed printers, and suddenly ooh, that's new technology. Now they go off and do printing. Another form of art. Mm -hmm, exactly. It's you shouldn't. This was one of the things behind this show, was given that for the most part the art that is shown in Stuart Hall is, for lack of a better term, and sorry Joyce, but traditional art. It's painting, sculptures, and so on. This was a definite attempt on uh, Alex's and, and my part to bring stuff that was not would not necessarily be considered traditional art, such as the cats, such as the tree sweaters outside, such as the smoke rings, uh, to say, let's stick this in and see how people react. Yes? So I, I noticed that a lot of uh, art nowadays is partially based on photo transferring, okay, and then using that photo transfer to paint upon that, etc. So do you consider that as valid a form of art since? Yeah, 